Today, we will be looking at how to calculate your safe period if you usually have irregular menstrual cycle. Now, this will also work for people who not only want to prevent pregnancy, but also want to get pregnant fast. So it will also help you to calculate your ovulation period and your fertility window or your fertility period. This method will also work for ladies with long cycle say they bleed every 33 days or every 35 days and for ladies with short cycle say they bleed every 21 days or 22 days or 23 days so this method will also work it is simple it is fast to calculate very effective and so do it to hit the like button on this video because you find this video practical helpful and very amazing we'll jump on our calendar we'll do some mathematics here and there so that you can have a solid method now obviously i've done several videos on this topic before in fact the video here has close to 2 million views however in those previous videos what i did was to give you a system for ladies with a 28 day cycle or thereabout and for ladies with a regular menstrual cycle so in this video we will be helping ladies with irregular menses meaning they don't have a predictable day to see their menses so they can't know when their menses will come again because it comes at different interval irregularly different months and also for ladies with very short cycle or long cycle or ladies who have cycles that are not a 28 day cycle right i hope this is clear but before we proceed i want us to discuss what regular means regular doesn't mean that you have to see your period on a certain calendar day because there are some ladies who see their period on the 2nd of june and they will expect to see their period on the 2nd of july and 2nd of august and 2nd of september forgetting the fact that the calendar months can have 28 days or 29 days or 30 days or 31 days and so that is not how to check if your cycle is regular or not the actual way is to count if you start seeing your menses on the second start counting from that day you started seeing your menses now there are some ladies that have spotting before the menses start don't start counting from those spotting you start counting from the day you started bleeding fully the day you started bleeding and bleeding fully is day one so you count day one day two day three day four day five and so on that is how you count and then you count till the day you start start seeing your next menses that number of days will reflect what your cycle length is your cycle length so if you started counting from the first day you started bleeding now till the first day you started bleeding in the next menses you get the length of your cycle if that length is similar every month with one or two days difference then you have a regular menstrual cycle if however that length from the first day of your menses this month to your the first day of your next menses is not regular you have an irregular menstrual cycle i hope that's clear if it's not clear just rewind a little and listen to that again so the method we will be describing today will be for ladies with a short cycle say 21 days 22 days 23 days cycle or a long cycle say 31 days 32 days 33 days 35 days cycle all ladies with irregular cycle this will work so the first step here is document your cycle length for six months or six cycles so you measure from the first day you start bleeding this month to the first day you start bleeding next month and you do that consecutively for six months or six cycles and then you get six different values if your menses is irregular but if your menses is regular but short you just choose that short cycle length if your menses is regular but long you simply choose that long cycle length if your menses is irregular calculate it for six different months or six different cycles and you will have six different values we are just using examples here the next step is you choose the shortest cycle length out of the six you've calculated choose the shortest so the shortest here is 25 right the next step is you subtract 18 from that shortest cycle so we have six cycles here and then the shortest is 25 and so we are going to subtract 18 the number 18 number 18 from 25 to get 7. this 7 is a very important number and this is actually day 7. this 7 is termed your first fertile day so from subtracting the number 18 from the shortest cycle length we get the number 7 which represents the 7 and it will be denoted as our first 
fertile day. Taking that number seven, you add nine to get your last fertile day. So from seven, you add nine, you get 16. Meaning that day seven all the way to day 16 is our fertility window period. I will explain again. First, you document the cycle length for six months or six cycles. And we say to calculate your cycle length, count the number of days from the day you started bleeding in this month to the first day you started bleeding in your next menses. That will tell you your cycle length. Do that for six months or six cycles and you have six different numbers. Now, choose the lowest number or the shortest cycle. And so from this, our example here, 25 is the shortest cycle. The third step is subtract the number 18 from that shortest cycle length. Our shortest cycle length is 25 here as an example. So we'll subtract 18 from that 25 to get our first fertile day. So when we subtract 18 from 25, we get 7. And so day 7 will be our first fertile day. Picking that number 7, and you add nine, you will get your last fertile day. So seven plus the number nine, we get 16. And so day 16 is our last fertile day, meaning that from day seven all the way to day 16 is our fertility window. If we jump on our calendar and assuming that this lady started bleeding from the second, it means that second is day one, day two, this will be day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, first day of fertility, day eight, day nine, day 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, last day of fertility. So meaning that from day seven of commencement of bleeding all the way to day 16 from the commencement of the bleeding is the fertility period. Every other day, apart from the day marked here, every other day, apart from this fertility window of fertility period is safe period. So all the way from here down to the next period is safe period and all the way from here to here is safe period. I hope this is clear. So it means that if you have your six length and you choose the shortest length and you subtract 18 from that shortest length, you get your first fertile day and you add nine to that first fertile day, you get your last fertile day. And then when you go to your calendar, you start counting from the day you started bleeding. You count your day seven to day 16 to get your fertility period. I hope that's clear. So to further help, let's choose another cycle length. After documenting your six cycles and the length of your six cycles, the shortest is 21. So we have our second step here. The shortest cycle length is 21. We are going to subtract 18 from 21 and that will give us the number three. So it means that day three in our cycle is the first fertile day. The next step is we're going to add number nine to that first fertile day three. We will get 12. So it means that day 12 is our last fertile day. And invariably, it means that day three right to day 12 is our fertility window. And every other day apart from this period, is our safe period. We will jump on our calendar and assuming if you started bleeding on the 3rd of June, that will be day one. Day one, day two, day three. This is the first fertile day. Day four, fertile, five fertile, six fertile, seven fertile, eight fertile, nine fertile, 10, 11, 12 is our last fertile day. So all this day from day three, from when you started bleeding right to day 12 from when you started bleeding this period is your fertility period every other day apart from this fertility window is safe period all the way from here to the next period and all these days here are safe period so you are most likely going to ovulate one of these days but most likely at the middle here right so one two three four and five here is 
the day you are most likely going to release the egg so why all these days are fertility period and if you want to get pregnant you have to have sex during these days you are most likely going to get pregnant if you have sex at the middle here right that's probability however if you want to avoid pregnancy and you have irregular menses and you've calculated your your fertility window avoid sex during this fertility window but the other days here are free meaning that this lady that started bleeding on the third may get pregnant even while bleeding that is why some ladies can take in few ladies do can take in during menses they can get pregnant because the menses extends into their fertility period i hope this is clear if you have problem understanding this pause this video and start watching from the beginning again to get it very clear if this is clear hit the like button and stay subscribed to this youtube channel so you keep getting amazing videos like this i will drop the link to previous videos on how to calculate your safe period ovulation period and your fertility period in the description section below and the cards above if you have any questions do well to drop it in the comment section below i will definitely answer them take charge of your health and happiness and i'll see you in the next video